Imagine the scene. The swamp is basically a tropical spa. The crocodile is floating around with that half-closed, I've made mistakes expression. And suddenly a whole squad of capybaras shows up. The mammal equivalent of friends who barge into your house uninvited, open your fridge, and still ask for the Wi-Fi password. And the crocodile? Oh, he wants to attack. Of course he does. He's a crocodile, not middle management. But then he looks at the capybara and thinks, 140 pounds? Swims faster than me? Travels in herds? That's basically a furry school bus. Yeah, maybe I won't pick that fight. Meanwhile, the capybara swims right past him with that serene expression of a creature that simply refuses to acknowledge danger. Capybaras live in permanent peace and love mode, part Buddhist monk, part herbal tea grandma, part ancient being that decided to stop fearing things somewhere around 200,000 BCE. And there's the psychological side too. Imagine being a crocodile and realizing the chillest animal on earth doesn't take you seriously. The reptile just lies there thinking, did I lose my edge? Has my inner roar gone quiet? Am I aquatic furniture now? So the capybaras climb on top of the crocodile like he's an amphibious uber, take naps beside him, form double traffic lanes over his back, and the crocodile accepts it, defeated, like, fine, today I'm just a living mattress. And that's why, in the end, the only thing actually getting hunted in that swamp is the crocodile's self-esteem.